Back on Waving News 10 at 626. One week to go until classes start for many students in Hampton Roads. That back to school checklist should include a call to the pediatrician since your child will be turned away if he or she doesn't have the proper shots. This morning we're taking a look at what vaccinations are required before school begins. Hi there, Sage. Hello. Hi there, Mom. Morning. How you guys doing? Are you ready for sixth grade? Mm -hmm. okay. The last thing on 11-year-old Sage Porter's back-to-school checklist is a visit to the doctor. What you're going to be getting today is the Tdap. During this week before school starts, Dr. Nancy Wick expects to be extra busy because all rising sixth graders need to make the same trip. In the state of Virginia, the sixth graders need to have a Tdap, which is tetanus, pertussis, and diphtheria, before they are allowed to enter sixth grade and that is enforced very strongly. Sage's mom learned how important those vaccinations are the hard way last year. Her older daughter was turned away on the first day of school because she didn't have the proper shots. I just really assumed, I, you know, I, I take them to all their appointments and I assumed that ha since I went to the last one, we had everything that we needed. But doctors don't give 10-year-olds the Tdap during their yearly checkup, so children who turn 11 after the start of school need to make sure they are up to date. The other group of kids that will need to come in for shots is those entering school for the very first time. At age four or five, before they start either preschool or kindergarten, children need to get boosters of their DTaP, their measles and rubella, their chickenpox, and their polio. At age four, we also give a pneumococcal 13. Well, you can't enter kindergarten without all those boosters. It's just going to go in your arm. It's going to be really quick, okay? Okay. Two, three, it's done. All done! Yay! Oh, you're brave. Now just remember, um, today and tomorrow, move that arm. Mm -hmm. It keeps the muscle from getting really sore. Didn't hurt at all. And you're a rock star. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Thanks so much. You're welcome. All right, you're all done. Voila. No tears. <laughs> That's right, no tears. And Dr. Wick also says young adults and parents should also get the DTaP. Just a reminder, as the kids all come together, we'll be seeing more coughs, colds, and fevers. You can start getting the flu shot at the end of September.